Hi, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue Peak in Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to create a searchable drop-down list in Excel. Now, I have done a video that shows you precisely how to do this. Uh, this video is going to be slightly different because it's going to use the new filter functions that are available in Office 365. Uh, they're very recent additions to Excel. Uh, you'll only have them if you're on Office 365. So what I want to be able to have is a little drop down list. And if I type a few letters in, um, it will produce a filtered drop down list of the products that I am currently showing in this list. Now, before I get started with the filter function, I am going to convert this data source into an Excel table. That means that if I add new products to my list, my formula can automatically pick it up. So that's fairly easy. Just click somewhere in the data, insert table or shortcut key control T. I'll give you this dialog box, just confirming there the range of cells you're using. My table has headers that needs to be ticked because we do. I give the table a name. So I'll call this product underscore list. And I'm also going to have a cell over here, which is going to contain my drop down list eventually. And I'm going to give that a named reference. So I'm going to call this entry. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create my formula here in column C. Now I'm going to use the filter function here. And the first argument in the filter function is array. So that's the range of cells that you want to filter results in. So I'm going to select this range here, the product list table, the product column, comma, include. Now this needs to be a Boolean expression that resolves to true or false. Now, what I'm going to do is use the search function to achieve this. Now the search function what that does is look for the result, a text string, and I'm going to say that's the text string that I type in the entry cell within this range of cells here. I don't need to use start number. You only need to use that if you want to start in a different position other than the beginning of the text string you're searching within. Now, what the search function will do is it will return the numeric position of the value that you're searching for in each of these individual products within the context of the filter function. Now, as I said, this uh, include argument needs to resolve to true or false. It needs to be a Boolean expression. So if I wrap this in the is number function, that will give me a true or false. So essentially, wherever it finds the entry, the partial entry of what I'm searching for that I have typed in the entry uh, cell, it will return a true and therefore return the, uh, the product that is in column A. Now, the last argument is, is em if empty. So that's if the partial text string that I type in my drop down list isn't found. So I'll say no product found. So I can close the bracket there. Now, if I press enter, I haven't currently got any uh, criteria in my entry uh, cell, but if I was to type in KNI, for example, it would reduce the uh, options that have appeared here. So what I want is a drop down list here that basically will show this list of entries here. And to do that, I can use data validation. So I go to data and then to data validation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say allow list. And the way I can refer to this spilled array of values is just to click in the first cell and then put a hash there. And that, that means that it doesn't matter how big this spilled array eventually gets, it's always going to refer to it. That's what the hash actually means. So oh, one more thing you must remember to do is because I'm going to type in values that won't appear, well, KNI doesn't appear on its own in any of this list. I need to untick show error alert after invalid data is entered. 
Okay, so I can type in anything in here. So for example, if I typed basics, it's now going to give me that list of basics here. But what I'm looking for is the fact that it's actually in this drop down list here. So again, if I type something else like J Oliver, you'll be able to see that it's then just offering the J Oliver products here. Okay, so an alternate way of creating a searchable drop down list. If you haven't got the latest version of Excel, Office 365, then I have got another video that will show you how to do it without the filter function. Um, it is a little bit more complex, but it will work just as well. Okay, thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.